Welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Right on the tail end of the last episode, so I haven't updated to the new release, which should fix the volume stuff quite yet, but we have a few things to take care of in this episode. Ma mainly, like, a ton of zombies. Like, a ton of them. So we'll keep up this parade for as long as possible. We're getting pretty good at... I'm, I'm less and less concerned with these zombies, which is great. And we're hitting like a, a truck now for about 30 damage a piece, which is great. Eventually this makeshift crowbar is going to start to fall apart just like the others. But until that happens, we will merrily chomp away at the zombie numbers. I don't think they can see us here, so let's just go ahead and move out. That guy's still attacking the iBot up there. <laughs> so, there they are. Should we double back? I think so. This is enough zombies that we might want to take care of them. How are we going to get in? I guess we'll have to retreat back this way. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I think we're okay here, though. It's not good to sit in the windowsill. It generally is bad for your action points. Because you don't really... It's hard to maneuver in a windowsill, right? Okay, there they are. They're coming. <laughs> we're now hungry, which is good to see. This food is not something we have any problems with right now. Go ahead and back up, drag him into this door frame. I'm just trying to see if we have any red. They haven't hit us yet. Oops. I guess we killed all of them. Oh, multivitamin, I'll take that, that's nice. In fact, I'll probably take that and eat it right away as well. Good. Our zombie killing skills have certainly increased. And our dodge is up to 45. That's pretty slow on the coming, but... Here we go. All this stuff is falling here. Three liter jar, we don't need that. We don't need the scissors anymore. We'll take the long string though. That's from the windowsill itself. And how many zombies are still left? Three more. Not bad. Luring them over one at a time seems to be very effective. And, okay. Some, I love shotgun shells. Shotguns are probably the best weapon in this game. I mean, they're great weapons in real life as well. When you're trying to deal with self-defense, especially against a melee opponent. Uh, wetness is not fantastic. Okay, so let's just make our way over to the store now. How many more zombies do we have to deal with? Maybe one way over here. Yeah, man, we have thoroughly thinned out the zombie herd. Which is really nice. So now that the store is going to be at least dimly lit, we should have a much better chance of exploring and seeing what's going on in here. Okay, these were, what, our old boots? Yep, they were making us way too hot. <laughs> So we're, we're quite unhappy being this wet. If we could find a towel, we could dry ourselves off. Did we actually have a towel in all the goods we left? Oh. So we had made two piles, I guess. No. Yes or no? I can't recall. Can we take all this? Oh, we can actually take everything here. Well, that's fantastic. 
And then we did have stuff here, but we put it up here. Okay. So this is all our stuff as well. Outdoor adventures is survival. Let me do read and see what we have available to us. Unfortunately, none of this stuff is really what we want. So archery for kids brings our archery to one. Boxing monthly. Okay, let's stop reading yes. Got to take care of these guys. Oh, that didn't take very long. He is carrying a muffler with him. It's very bizarre. Zombies get attached to the strangest items. So read. I think the zombie's gonna approach before we can finish doing this, but what were we reading? Boxing monthly. Okay, let's start doing this. Okay, the zombie's still... <laughs> this guy's taking a long time to get over here. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, if we were really smart, we'd go find a towel. Unfortunately, you can see that the store is actually poorly lit, even on the inside, beyond the first little bit. Oh yeah, we do have stuff on top of this. Not here. That's a broken one with nothing in it, I guess. Huh. Very strange why we chose to do this. I forgot, I forgot why we unloaded onto a vending machine. I probably wasn't paying attention. Hmm. <laughs> so a raincoat would be better than what we have right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's drop sewing kit, scissors. Let's drop everything north just so we can get into one pile. I think we can also um, peroxide, multivitamin. So let's see. All the gun stuff will drop for sure. We might actually want to read some of the other stuff. We don't need any of that right now. Zombie approaching. Where is this zombie approaching from? I don't see him. <clears throat> Unless they're talking about this one. Well. So unfortunately, okay, yeah, we do have vision. We have better vision. That's what I thought. So this is actually going to be navigatable. Navigable? I don't know my words. English, so hard. A lot, a lot better to see. So this is sweatshirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirt. Let's go to the, let's just kind of get a feel for the store by wandering around. We, which we kind of already did, but... <laughs> What I could do is use this. Oh yeah, it's gonna spot the things way out there as well. So, okay, if it's 27 away, we don't need to worry about it, right? Okay. So lots of stuff close by. Book of plays. And then all the way out there. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that then. Let's keep going. Yeah, here. Yeah, nothing interesting quite yet. Stuff way up there. Okay, more stuff here. Let's do another check. Book of plays, lots of stuff. Okay, and nothing else. Sci-fi. No, nothing interesting. What do we have here? Yeah, this is all stories for fun. Nothing interesting quite yet. Okay, well, first of all, I want to find out what that is above us. Just a plastic bottle? Okay. Nothing interesting. Okay, keep going. Lots of stuff here. Ski pants, sweatshirt, t-shirt. 
Too bad we don't have a raincoat of some kind. I think that's what we need right now with this weather. Their pants. No, not seeing a raincoat though. Okay, nothing interesting. All right, let's keep going over to the left. So we looped around here. Lots of food over here as well. Probably a good point for us to stop and look, see if we find anything interesting. Oh, cardboard box of cheese pizzas. Yeah, let's go grab those. Oh, deluxe sandwiches, absolutely fantastic. Lunch meat, might as well grab that. The milk is getting old, but it's not old yet. We're just gonna go over there and drink that. Well, if it's not old, I mean, if it's old and not actually um, rotten, you can drink it without a penalty. And the yogurt as well. So we need, really need to go up this aisle here. Okay. So dark cola will leave. This one has the cheese pizzas, we'll take that. that all, that's all it had. This one has the deluxe sandwiches. 38 to 12, very good, very good ratio there. Um, and also, what are we looking at here? Cranberry juice, which is fresh. We'll have to go down that aisle as well. Aluminum cans, we aren't worried about. Lunch meat, just one of it, but that's fine. We'll probably be able to make something with that. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna drink it. We'll drink our old milk, we're gonna drink it again. <laughs> trying to get as much out of this milk as we can. Nope, okay, so that's it. We're still gonna take it with us because I think milk you can use to create some things. Um, let's look for fine component milk. So you need milk for Irish coffee, to make milk from either condensed or powdered milk. Interesting. What in here is milk? It must be like a powdered milk or something? Condensed milk, I see. You can make del deluxe cook uh, oatmeal with condensed milk, which we don't have. Okay, you can make milk tea. That is potentially interesting. Very good enjoyability. I would absolutely make this if we could. We need tea to do that. Ah, we can look around for tea. We can also make coffee milk, which is you know, the same enjoyability. So that is something we're gonna wanna do immediately. It might preserve the time to rot a little bit as well. Might be something we wanna run to the front door to do, which sounds silly, but uh, just, it's so rare to get milk which is not spoiled. <laughs> Unless you're on a farm milking a cow for yourself or whatever. Just eat this yogurt directly, can we? We can, good, because yogurt is also one of those things which quickly spoils. Fruit juice, we'll have to go down that next column next. This zombie's deciding he wants to play games. That's fine, let him play games. Strip our sandwich. So we did leave quite a few zombies in here, huh? What do we have here? We have chewy candies, radiated cranberries, bologna. Okay, so we do in a way have to keep going up. Let's kill this guy. Good. Cranberries, candies, take that. Actually, we can do something with the nachos. I think we can make like special nachos if we have meat, which sure we do. Pudding, let's see if we can just eat the pudding immediately because it's another, one, it's another one of those things which it's hard to carry around. We forgot to get a towel. Damn it, I forgot to get a towel. Orange, radiated orange. Broccoli, okay, we'll take that. Takes six days to spoil. Good, we have a little bit of time on that. Uh, let's just use this, use this real fast. Zucchini is up here, okay. And other than that, we're not missing anything. Good, good to know. The zucchini. 
What's this? Pliers. Okay, we drop those pliers on the floor ourselves. Uh -oh. Let's go up to the big pile over here and see if we can make anything. Cook with milk. Nope, not sleep. Sorry. Craft. Oh, I'm extremely surprised we don't have coffee or anything like that. The milk is not going to last very long. Okay, well, let's see if we can start dropping some of the stuff we got. Well, let's read the ham radio. Read all this stuff and drop it on the ground. We're dropping it into the rain, but I guess that doesn't bother books. Fair enough. All these things are going to spoil, but how close to spoiling really are some of these things? Like bologna, bologna how does it? One season, that's plenty of time. Six days, plenty of time. Two days, not good. This one's one day. We're going to have to eat all those things rather quickly. Our fruit juice, which we know can last for quite some time. Lunch meat, going to spoil in two days. So yeah, we'll probably have to... I would prefer to make a sandwich out of that. And I think we brought bread back. So we'll probably drop that on the ground as well. These sandwiches are also going, only going to last one day, so we'll be eating those pretty quickly. In fact, we're slaked, but we have a little bit of room. No, not enough for a sandwich. Fine. So let's drop the zucchini, lunch meat, the broccoli, bologna. Yeah, let's drop those things. Good. What do we have here? Comic book. Okay, let's go over to the left this time. See what we can see over here. Oh, is that, what is this? Cordless trail. Looks like a weapon. That looks like concrete maker, which we don't need. Okay, nothing really. Oh, nail gun. That's potentially useful. A nail gun. Hmm. It only fires in melee range, though. Which makes sense. But it does fire... I mean, it's 15 bash. Oh, it's 169 moves per attack, though. That's pretty poor. So we'll... We're going to forget about that using that. Nothing interesting here. I'm just waiting. I'm expecting this milk to spoil at any moment. A few things, but not... <clears throat> we could actually just practice our tailoring on these things if we don't find a book, and knowing that we'll ruin them, but being okay with that. Here's another sewing kit. We don't need it. Yeah. Soldering iron. Towel! Oh, towel. Okay, let's go get this towel. Activate. Well, pick it up. Activate the towel. We dry off. We're no longer wet, which is great. I'll take this towel with us as well. And what do we have here? Zombie survival guide, which is ah, uh, yeah, that's right. It's not. It's not what it sounds like. <laughs> okay, plenty of zombies here. Let's just go back to zombie killing. A ukulele. Which it's nice to have one instrument because one instrument does help you as a pick me up. What do we have? survival guide. Okay, it doesn't look like anything interesting. Let's see. A wood saw could be nice. Let's go ahead and take that. What else? This is the drowsy cough syrup, syrup that I was thinking about taking earlier. But what is this? Oh, protein, okay. Because if we can find coffee, that would be good. <clears throat> Plenty of stuff over here. Cotton balls, solder, root beer, cough syrup, protein, cash card, which I will take. 
Oh, gosh. See? Walked right by a zombie. Take this cash card. The protein powder. I guess we'll take it. It's not necessary for a while. Oh, aspirin. Very important. Cough syrup, sure. We'll take that now. First aid, yes. We're in great shape though right now. Feels so much better about our chances to survive. <laughs> to serve, man. Uh, it's a cookbook. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's not a spoiler for anybody. It is a cookbook. We will actually take it. I wonder if it has any ability to get your cooking skill up. It's not. I'm not planning on eating people, but. Soylent Green as PayPal. Is that another Taylor's kit? It is, but it probably has some charges in it, so let's go steal that. Yeah. Let's go kill this zombie. Oh, you bit my torso. The one place, the one place. Another hammer we don't need. Take the string. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Gummy vitamins, my favorite. These are a little bit better because they actually make you, they have four enjoyability. So it's better than your multivitamin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, well, let's kill another zombie here. They are less and less threatening all the time. Now we can go up this row and take all the stuff that we, okay. I don't know if you can take these things of putting in your inventory even. <clears throat> Let's take, how long does it take them to spoil? Seven days. Can we carry them? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know why I had a fear of taking plastic cups of putting in my inventory. For some reason I kept thinking it would spoil. But they did not. We're gonna drop this towel because it's huge, taking up way too much space. And now with that we can grab more pudding. Fruit juice, ah, it's taking us over the limit. Five days, so we have, do we have time? We are doing so good, oh, only up to three and a half on the attack stuff. Cash card, ooh, ammo, we'll take that. And we're really at our maximum, so you know what we're gonna do? Gonna charge back up to the north. And maybe we'll just run this stuff all the way back to our home. I forgot the lighters actually have some weight now. A wrench. We have a toolkit if I'm not mistaken. So we don't need any of those things. Okay, let's go back to our house. Which we can do by running, I think, since all the zombies are pretty much done for. Every now and then you need to take a break, otherwise your breath will give out. You'll be causing yourself a little bit of pain. Uh, we need sunglasses, apparently. It's telling us the sun's glare is making it hard to see. Okay, back to walking. Oh, three more. D damn, we went way too far. Maybe one day they'll kill that iBot. <laughs> Let's just make sure that they aren't... Yeah, they don't care about me, which is good. Okay, good. So let's call this video to a close here. And I think off camera, I might just make a run back and forth between the um, mega store just to get all the stuff stored in here. And then we can start doing some other fun stuff like exploring the bottom part of the town. Hopefully these apartment towers will have a watch. Um, I might also be looking for what's another thing. Oh, sunglasses. Yeah, if we if we haven't found sunglasses yet, which is a bit surprising to me, we can try to find that. Yeah, this is great. I think this is a really good start. Um, we've gotten the first phase of things under control, which is getting yourself a de decent outfit to wear and having um, a good weapon or, you know, a good weapon armor combination, which is what I mean when I'm referring to the clothes. So we're off to a really good start. Um, and now, as soon as we can really set up this as our home base and read a bunch of our books, that'll put us in a good situation for going off and exploring various town, uh, various parts of this town. We haven't been down here yet, 
<clears throat> hardware store and veterinarian clinic, which could have really useful stuff. And these houses may have books we need or various other items of interest. So we can go find out if any, any of that stuff is good. But yeah, we haven't been to this sporting goods store, which could have like he football helmets, which are great for armor, stuff like that. Yeah, and even just knowing if the town continues right here or not would be interesting. So, and then well into the future, we can think about looking at the cars in this town. I usually don't even bother looking at the to uh, cars right away because my first goal with the static spawns, if you don't have mobile spawns, is just to clear out the town, get a home base set up, and then make excursions like really far out, if you have a car especially, and come back and you know when you come back, even if you come back late at night, you just go right to home and nothing. there's nothing to worry about. But that's going to call this video to a close. That's the plan moving forward. Hopefully you're enjoying the series and I will catch you for the next video.